music can help us uh, sleep. Um, and many people use music to go to sleep. And it depends, obviously, it depends on the type of music um, and it depends on the type of person. And what we found in a large survey that we ran recently is uh, that, that certain types of music that are much better for uh, sleeping than others. Obviously, it should be quiet music, calm music, slow tempo, few dynamic changes. And um, this would help us uh, to uh, calm down ourselves, so kind of um, power down our physiological reactions and take other thoughts of our mind. And um, certain people uh, use music more to sleep, so especially the younger ones have uh, more of a habit for uh, using music to sleep and the ones who are more inclined to music anyway. So if you're a musician or you listen to a lot of music, then uh, you're more likely to use music at, at bedtime as well. I think it has two effects. Uh, one is, it could be a direct physiological effect that, um, for example, you synchronize your, your breathing and your pulse to the, a slow beat of the music. And that way, uh, the, through this synchronization, you kind of shut down your body and prepare yourself for bed. And the other thing is it, uh, it might distract you from thoughts that would keep you awake otherwise. So if you uh, um, focus on the music or try to understand what's going on in the music, you're, it might take some worries off of your mind. So it distracts you and uh, fills you with uh, positive thoughts that um, yeah, is helpful for finding to sleep. Usually it would be calm music, so you should definitely not uh, try to listen to punk or fast heavy metal music. So anything that's loud, aggressive, fast and has many dynamic changes um, is certainly not helping. So what many people said is uh, singer-songwriters, for example, who sing in a calm voice or classical music uh, um, is mentioned a lot. Obviously, there are pieces that are even composed for helping to sleep. For example, the Goldberg variations by Johann Sebastian Bach, who allegedly were composed to, um, to help uh, a noble person. So one question is uh, that hasn't been solved yet. Uh, does music help uh, everyone to sleep? So, or are there certain people who don't feel an effect of music? And could you personalize a music treatment for people who might have sleep disorders? So, for example, if you know something about the personality and the musical taste of a person, could you put together a playlist that would work for that person in an optimal way? So this would be a, like a personalized medicine for uh, helping to sleep. The good thing about music is it doesn't have any side effects. So it's a, a much less of a risk than, say, sleeping pills that you could become addicted to. Obviously, you couldn't become addicted to music as well, but that isn't a, a problem. Uh, so it's not uh, dangerous or damaging.